Welcome back to Pops and Pilots. Let's play some more European Gonzalez Forest. The Pope. We're playing as the Papal State. We're going, among other things, for the Holy Trinity achievement where we have to have the Teutonic Order, the Livonian Order, and the Knights over here on Rodos, which I can never hit, um, as marches. Uh, we also have to have Core in Jerusalem. And we have tons of other stipulations that are all described down there in the doobly doo in the um, description box. I'm not going to go into that. Essentially, we have to throw all other religions out of Europe. Make sure there are no non-Catholic Christians and conquer a bunch of stuff. And I'm actually gonna have <laughs> to have a look myself into which cities exactly we're supposed to take. I mean, of course we have to take Jerusalem. We also have to take Alexandria, I know that. And a bunch of other holy places. Probably Mecca and Medina, I suppose. And um, I think Constantinople is among those as well. It must be. It has to be. Um, and we have other things too. We also want Switzerland as a barge, for example. Just read all of that down there. Um, now, we just finished a war against, if you want to call it a war, against Tunis and Morocco, where we fed a bunch of Tunisian land to our very libertarian subject here, Kabylia, who is very libertarian because, well, we forced their religion to be Catholic, and they don't love that much. Um, I would love that for them to convert their land, and they could eventually do it, because they do have religious ideas, um, but they only have one point in there, and they're going to need like three, I believe. Um, for the conversion bonus here. Yeah. And um, one reason why they, they don't have um, many points in those ideas is that their ruler is horrible. Look at this bishop, a 1 2 1 bishop. Um, that could be better. Now I'm thinking whether I should. Um, we are great power. Are we great power? When, yes, we are. Um, we could use great power influence on these guys. Um, that gives them a monarch point of whatever power they have uh, the least of. Um, and I assume that's going to be Atman, because Atman and Mill are the same for them. Um, would be nice to support them there, and it's just money. I'm going to check that out once we're done improving with some of these guys. Uh, we're trying to make people understand that um, we are no threat and that they don't need to coalition us. There are still a bunch of people in the coalition against us. And Juno already left, which is nice, even though they still absolutely think we were really aggressive. But they do like us, so that's a thing. Truce to the Tooth says, any truce to Pomerania and that's all fine. We're improving with the Livonians, I believe. Yes, because we want to annex them. We also camped on military power again. And I believe we're out of time. Yes. We're not focused on military or anything, are we? No. Um... So, I guess we're going to do some development. Development, sword by price. Avignon is cheap, but also capped out on military. Nice is good. Let's grab Nice. Where? No, yes, it's fine. Nice is still Italy. Uh, we're going to have to give away Foucaultier, Provence, and Avignon, um, but we do not have to give away Nice. So, we might as well develop this. Um, Liguria have country development and the burgers seem to be happy save the golden era cool also this should help us um, with colonialism getting it a bit faster um, that's gonna be cool oh nice Pope 113 Ugh. <laughs> good thing we have money and can afford advisors also of course he has the three in the military where we really don't need it at the moment stability cost modifier sure it's better than a negative modifier I guess how are we doing on these rebels? We have 80% still on these guys, but they should almost be gone. Yeah. Probably not gonna fire, so that's good. Um, I think we're over our naval force limits. Avoid leaving coalition. Excellent. Um, right? Yes, still over the force limit. So can't really build a bigger trade fleet right now. Mm -hmm. I do want to vassalize you guys, but you probably need some convincing still. Aggressive expansion, please. I just reformed the Teutons. That's all I did. Well, I took Pomerania, but... Um, a lot of people like me. Yes, please. Please like me. Ferrara will need to eat at some point. Naples. Right. We have tons of things to do with our diplomats. Um, I think I can come home from the Palatinate for now. Not... No. Didn't actually mean to call you back from Berlin. That's fine. So one of you needs to... I think rebuild my claims on Naples, yes. Um, let's go and influence first, because he's gonna come back from that. That's gonna cost us 
24 ducats and they get admin for 10 years. So we're giving our subjects 10 years of one admin every month. So that's 120, 1,200 admin. That's a lot. That's good enough for those ideas and some cores. Uh, let's do that. Um, try to help them out a bit. And on the plus side, they're also going to like us a bit for it. Uh, on the on the plus side, I mean, it is a plus side, but it's not what I meant to say. What I meant to say was that it's um, a side effect, positive side effect. Yes, let's call it that. So where else can we expand? Everybody in Europe hates us. We just did the expansion here. We could start looking at the Mamluks, but how? Kabilia is not gonna fabricate any claims for us. We don't have claims bordering claims anymore. I don't think I would be able to fabricate on you. No, um, not even with the um, Kabilia. Bohemia? Um, Bohemian conquest of Szczecin against Poland. Poland is allied to Lithuania. Yeah, you do you, Bohemia. It's fine. I don't like them growing up here, but it's okay. I'd rather keep allied to the Emperor. Uh, keep being allied to the Emperor, which they still are, right? That is Bohemia. Good, good. Uh, we could take a tech way ahead of time. No. Well, we could. We don't want to. But we can take the Zatman tech, and I will. The Scythe. And then we're going to... I'm gonna have to think about something to do with our Diplo points. A bunch of good options. Um, we could increase. Um, yeah, leave that coalition, people. Um, we could increase our mercantilism. Which is always nice to do. Um, just small money, and it's gonna be there forever. Uh, so we get half. No, we get. What's this? 2% um, trade power modifier from mercantilism from each tick. And some embargo efficiency. That's neat. Alternatively, we could just do Diplo development, which is just also really good. I think we do that. Um, sorry for the second round of development in the same episode. This is the same. Um, so it would be really good in Avignon, but Pisa and Ancona are really good places. And especially Ancona has paper. It's currently owned by the burgers, but it doesn't have to be. I'm still trying to get rid of it. Maybe we do Ancona here. Um, I even have development cost edict on because, of course, I do. Let's send Diplo in here. Um, does that mean I can build anything cool in Ancona? Not a temple, not a workshop, not a manufactory. Ooh, this is. I mean, I guess we just did military development there, so I guess that makes sense. That's good stuff. And don't care about this. All right. Uh, trade League expanded. Venice is Trade League expanded. Okay. I assume you have, like, negative prestige or something weird. You love me, Venice. Um, those, those claims in Switzerland. We need more of that. You're not going to be my vassal, are you? No, you're over hunt development. If you die a bit more to the Ottomans, maybe I can just vassalize you. Not that I really want to vassalize you, I kind of want to eat you. But I could vassalize you first. Okay, we're at 100 with the Livonians now. And we can eat the... Yeah, I'm just going to embrace the um, institution now. It's going to be fine. Um, so are we going to get you to 190 for the vassalizing? We get 50 from an alliance. Then we did another 40. We get... 25 from a gift and 25 from influence, so yes. The answer is yes. We can do this. I'm gonna ally you. And then, yeah, yeah, I go over relations, that makes sense. Come home from Brandenburg, that's okay. I'm not gonna help up here yet, I'm just gonna have my my subjects do a bit of helping and maybe that gives me some, some favors already. Um, so that is that, and we need to wait for the end of the month, and we can um, send a gift. And wait another month, and then we can do the other thing. What does my other diplomat need to do? I want to improve with Kabilia. Eventually, it's not essential right now. I want new claims on Switzerland. I also want new claims on 
We still have some claims on you guys. I'm probably gonna drop off soon. You like me so much, but you won't be vassalized, will you? No. I think they're too strong. What are your friends? Austria, Naples and Savoy. Naples. If we ever get into Naples, maybe that's our chance there. Let's rebuild on Switzerland. Do you have any good friends? France. Hmm. Maybe not Switzerland either. Genoa. Hungary and France. Castile and... F <laughs> it's just... I'm not supposed to expand. Um, let's build on Savoy for now. They would actually ally me. That's crazy. People like me so much and still they hate me. France can cancel military access. Um, Livonians. Livonians. I want you to have my influence for 13 decades. Austria left that coalition. So next month we should be able to um, vassalize the Livonians. Be my vassal, please. Thank you. Once in a lifetime opportunity. And I'm just going to do the designate march button because... Um, oh, I can't do it at war. Fine. Just finish your war, Bohemia. I need my vassal to be strong. Um, devotion... Nope. Prestige. Oh, we're down on power protection. I did not realize this. We can insult somebody. Who are we rival to anyway? They failed to pick another rival slot while we're at peace. No, I did not. Mamluks, Denmark, England. Hey, Mamluks. Oh, you're dying. Um... There's no reason not to scorn for insult you, though. Tales of misdeeds are told from Ireland to Cathay. It feels like we're always getting the same ones. There's supposed to be a lot of them, but I'm not really getting... getting a lot of different ones. I know I can randomize it, it's just that... I would like to just get more random ones. Ooh, well done. You actually gave that... occupation to me, Livonian Order. Excellent. Not that I think but that we're going to get anything out of this war. How's our war participation? Um, I mean, ours is non-existent, but the Toots, no, Saxony is... No, we have 36%. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Could give this to me, and therefore my subject. Is that the core of my subjects? No. Do you have cores, Livonians? You do on Muscovy and Denmark. I mean, that's my next expansion up here. Not that we... Well, yes, we need to, actually. We need to get rid of these Orthodox people. So we do need to expand into Muscovy anyway, for the future. So, who are your friends? Really nobody. <coughs> and how strong is Muscovy? <laughs> Let's ask. Here, Muscovy. Navy, probably not particularly. So, well, they have three heavies, actually. It's not nothing. But I'm looking for um, land army. Not insane at all. Okay. I have an idea where we can go. Um, speaking of ideas, do we still need to, to suppress here? I feel like we can stop suppressing for a bit. Yeah, we're gonna get some unrest back in Piemont and um, Lombardy. But... Um, that's fine for a while, and that way we can drill. Uh, here, the preventions are also down, right? Yeah, you can also go to drilling instead for now. Give me some professionalism back. We need that manpower. Also, having professionalism is just good. Um, how close are we to you guys being happy? Not very. I mean, relatively close, but I just used the call yet, so we can't really demand military support anytime soon. Well, we can. We want them to be continue to be unhappy. Could ask you for admin, which is a thing I want. So let's do it. And Diplo. Don't necessarily need to ask for Diplo. Could 
but as for money, but monarch points have to be better, right? Don't even have anything good to do with our admin uh, money at the moment. I'm just gonna grant charters here and recruit minister and demand diplo. Could still ask for money and have them be unhappy for a while. That's gonna hurt development. Oh, I should have done development before I asked for dip. Could have gotten an extra discount. I'm just gonna put a bit of dip into Ancona and you know what? I'm just gonna give you some military as well so you can also have some more dip. Like that. And then I'm gonna ask them for money. And let them be unhappy for a bit. That's okay. Cruise to Nuremberg has ended. How are you guys doing on Rebels? You're probably horrible with the Rebels right now. Um, Provincial Separatists. I'm looking for my subject Separatists. These numbers are great. You have no Rebels? There's tons of unrest. Did I turn off the Show My Subjects Revolts? No. Is that still at 0%? Progress, okay. I mean, it's tons of unrest. They're gonna have progress, but not right now. This is good. We have innovation. Admin tech cost, diplo tech cost, military tech cost, 5%. All right. It is good. <laughs> it's a good event. I like it. Burger influence down. Declining power of the nobility. <laughs> Whatever. Hungary wants military access. Who are you at war with? The Knights and Venice. And Naples also with the Knights in Venice. I'm going to decline access to Naples. I do want to declare war on them. I would like Hungary to be unhappy about it. Right, your friends are Hungary and Castile. And Hungary might actually... Are you in a big war, Castile? Or did you... You are in a war against Morocco and Jolov. Maybe we find a chance here. If we do, I think I want to jump on it, even though this looks like a win for Castile, the Portuguese. But maybe they'll get exhausted. Um, we ha still have that aggressive expansion issue. Um, not that I find the red map mode here. <laughs> a tiny bit. Really would be nice to take out some of those people who think they are supposed to hate us, rather than continuously um, adding more to that list. But I don't really see how at the moment. Hmm. Norway, Spy Network. Weaving Conquest. Uh, look, they gave two things to the Teutons. Nice. I don't know what that does for our aggressive expansion. 8.2 aggressive expansion. But hey, two things given to the two turns. Not bad. And their cores, I assume, so... Um, they should have no issue controlling that land. Very nice. Let's keep having an eye on that religion map mode. Still fine. Uh, lose navy again, army. Yes. Navy tradition, I mean, it's nice to have and all, but really what you want is army tradition. That's the one that's important. So I will always take that trade, even if it's an uneven one. Yeah, so it's gonna leave that coalition. It's not, there's no reason to be there. Just give up. With a claim. Let me claim some void too. Like Cuneo here. I would you like you to like me? But you don't. Um, hard to check for war possibilities if I don't have a diplomat. But I also don't really want to take any of these guys back. Hmm. <laughs> Make me the Pope again, please, so I can uh, continue having more diplomats. That's still Diplotech, way out of time. Trus Provence has ended. Denmark no longer valid rival, alright. That gives us some power protection, at least. And now we need to grab a new rival who's gonna be probably Muscovy, right? They rivaled us, I want to kill them. It's a good 
good sort of combination there. Um, we also need to cancel the embargo. So come back from Ulm. It's not like I care about Ulm in any way, shape or form. Um, revoke embargo. Revoke. And then embargo the Muscovites when you're back home. Influence of the nobles is down. Was it the nobles? Somebody's. Somebody's influence went down. Can't have really been the nobles. I don't think I have a noble minister, but maybe. I don't know. Who are you, rebels? No, I'll just pretend this. That doesn't help me. We need separatists. Uh, France influencing Brittany. You guys. If I were to declare war on you right now. Hungary, Castile, Ferrara. Still. Absolutely happy. I mean, it's four reasons and seven reasons. Castile is no longer in that war, though, so their reasons are going to go down. Hungary is still in a war, but they're easily winning against Venice. Someday I'll get into there. General died in a drilling accident. Not very nice at all. I mean, we can probably fight Castile and Hungary. I assume. But I'd rather not. 35,000 Castilians and 33,000 33, Hungarians at Tech 9 and Tech 9. And we're also Tech 9, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. So let's not. Ferrara. Who are you again? Austria, Naples, and Savoy. Wondrous. So Ferrara is still sort of our in into, into Naples. The fact that Austria would join and happily so is not not great. How is Austria? 24,000. That's not insane at all. Could probably beat them. Hmm. Wouldn't mind beating the Austrians, um, beating a... Are you my rival? You're not my rival, right? Who am I rivaling? England, Mamluks, and Muscovy, yeah. What to say, beating a humiliator out of them would be nice, but obviously that's not a thing. Protestant Reformation like wildfire? That's not acceptable. I think I know our next war. <laughs> Um, Lithuania, who are your friends? Poland and Aus Austria again. Breaking truce. Oh, I got a truce from that other war. E That's not great. Is Vilnius at least your capital? Yes. Ah, but it did not spawn in Vilnius. It spawned in... Lida. So I think we don't actually kill the Center of Reformation by forcing religion on these guys. State religion is still Catholic in Lithuania. Interesting. Well, we're gonna have to deal with that at some point. How long is our truce to you? 25, god, 40 more years. All right, so we can't do anything about Lithuania right now unless we attack with Austria directly, but they probably have tons of friends. Including Brandenburg, yeah, that's not a thing. So I guess we go into Naples to separate, uh, into Ferrara to get into Naples and separate out the Austrians. And once that is done, we can... Um, We can then hopefully do something in Lithuania. I guess that's the plan. And we can't really take any land from Naples either because we... Well, we can only take land from Ferrara or Naples. And you went for the Anglican Church, so England is, of course... I mean, it was bound to happen, but now we have to deal with the English as well because they are non-Catholic Christians. Guys, guys, Catholicism is the only way. If you choose anything else, you die. It's just how it is. So could you please just accept your fate? Um, <laughs> aggressive expansion. 42. 
70, 80, 74. Yeah, that's still numbers. <laughs> Would have been nice to do some aggression up here instead. I mean, could still go for the musklets. Who are your friends? Nobody. I checked that earlier. And you have war against Denmark. But we don't have... Well, we have a border through the Lithuanians. Uh, the Livonians, and we have cores of theirs, right? It's actually not an insignific insignificant number of cores. Three cores, and if you take land from the Danes, Muscovy, then I have even more cores to take. It's pretty nice. And Reconquest does not give us much uh, in the form of progressive expansion. Could even call in Bohemia. Hmm, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't l hate the idea of keeping on drilling here, but I'd rather have you guys, um, yes, take the fleet. Take the slow route around <laughs> around um, Europe. Because we're not the emperor. Could we be the emperor? That's the Pepsi. <laughs> Most people are not happy currently to make us the Emperor. Does it ever say why? Can I somehow see reasons? Don't think I can, right? Hmm. Would be nice. Oh, yes. Large nation in the Empire, Imperial Authority, Diplo Rep, which we see prestige. We get minus 1,000 points. So there must be something about us that's just not... Oh, we're not... Are they not eligible, or are we not eligible to be the Emperor? I don't know. Maybe the Pope can't be the Emperor. I really don't know enough about Empire mechanics to tell you that. <laughs> I don't know. Just don't know. Let's get our troops over to our subjects and then we're just gonna try to crunch those those Muscovites. Grab the Livonian land back. Um yeah, yeah, like me, it's fine. No idea what that event does. Maybe I should not always kick the positive event, but it seems like an obvious choice. Well, probably it means it's not. <laughs> Any good buildings? I think we had recently checked this, right? Um, well, that's now a good barracks and anchor. Now that, the now that I did the development. <clears throat> prestige or devotion? Let's grab prestige. What's the claim on Bari? Now we keep losing our claims on Naples. Well, if we go for Muscovy now, we're not going for Naples anytime soon anyway. So I guess that's fine. Um, we should also... Regrab our claim on the Savoyards here. Uh, probably come home from Savoy actually and go back to the Swiss. Maybe find a time where France is not defending them. Oops. Or maybe we get to be the Pope again, excommunicate people, and maybe use that somehow. We may attack Mazovia, but Mazovia is probably a subject of Poland? No, not any longer. Well, I'm sorry, Mazovia. It's not going to be great for you. Not going to be the best of times. It might be the worst of times, though. Man, I need more boats. Uh, yes. I'll join your war against Mazovia. That's okay. Thank you for calling me in. Knowledge sharing from Genoa. We could sell knowledge to our subjects, but that doesn't... No, that doesn't seem great. Speaking of our subjects, Kabilia. How are you doing on those cores? Not a core. Can't be turning into core. So the blue ones, and there's still some... Well, these are territorial cores already. So only one that they haven't started coring yet. Okay. And I assume you're still on the one related to the yeah. But I'm helping you. I'm trying to help you. Um, at least. Uh, more claims on the Naples. What was it that we lost? Oh, we lost Salerno. We can't remake that because it was um, a claim bordering claims thing. So let's come back. 
and then, 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 then. I could try to make like Smolensk like me or something so they don't join this war, but they probably, yeah, there's no, nobody here would rather, uh, Moldavia would rather not join. I think they already have attitude towards enemies minus 20, so that's not something we can improve upon. And it's fine, it's just all miners, right? Um, so that doesn't make sense, so we're done there. Let's just improve with our subject here for now. And maybe the last of our guys can go back to talking to outrage people. Because there still seem to be some of those. Twelve favors! I will try to make use of them by making them help me beat the Muscovites. Hopefully make them do a lot of the work. That would be nice. Um, rebels are not a thing. Excellent. My subjects rebels, have they done anything by now? They have. Sunni zealots, convert Kabilia, that is not a thing we can let happen. And Hotna and Kev, 10k. Kabilia cannot handle 10k. So we probably need to send an army over there before we deal with Muscovy. So many things to do. Claims on stuff in the Empire, that's okay. We just had those to be able to even get over here and grab our subject. Well, grab this subject, Pomerania. Are we still planning to eat Pomerania and then feed it to the Toots? I'm still unsure about that. I have a lot of dip, we could just do that. Um, military... Definitely want a good military guy, and none of you do anything important, so I'm just gonna grab the most expensive one here, whatever. Um, he does morale, so that's fine. Wait. I had a quest fulfilled and now I don't. Oh I probably was built a treasury. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Could I eat Morania? Could. How's my Diplo rep? We just ate a vassal. Still have good Diplo rep though. HRE, papal thing. So in the end, it means losing a bunch of Diplo to then save Diplo in the future. I should find out how much Diplo I'm saving, how much time that would save me. Let's grab our diplomat back from the Swiss. We have our claim. And then if I were to annex you. Ah that this has it. 236. That's not so much. 236 month is like 20 years. Yeah, I think I do this. I think I annex them and feed them. Right? Sure, it's also going to cost my subject because they have the core red and all that, but that's just much better. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, improve with you. Because we're certainly going to have to play more than 20 years, and we have to if we have to pay 10 dip every year, uh, 12 dip every year, it's quickly going to be... Wait. Did I fail to do my math correctly? 12, 24, 2, and 40. No. It's absolutely correct. Of course I'm absolutely correct, why wouldn't I be? Um, I had a plan for that military power, and I think one of those plans is to buy a new general. Who is awful, so let's buy another general. That's better. Not insane, but seven pips, seven combat pips is pretty good. We still have a siege guy, so that's okay. Also we get one Venice war. Hey Venice. <laughs> still have more than under development. And it's just being murdered by everybody, that's a bit unfortunate. I like to the knights, too. Yeah, but nothing I can do right now, I think, here. At least I don't have a clever idea of what to do there. Um, let's have you guys. Oh, you can't yet. My boat's still on the way. Come on, my boats. There you go. Now please get over to Kabilia. So we can deal with those rebels and then finally start attacking the Muscovites. 
That's gonna have to happen in the next episode, though. I still don't know what this does. I'm gonna take the cut in a nephew here. Alright. Oh, um, that event. We had that before. <laughs> and failed before. Oh well. Um, can that even work for the Pope? Because I can't have Cardinals? Is that event that's just always bad for the Pope? And if you choose that option, I don't know. Um, before I put a stop here, let's just real quickly insult one of our rivals so we stay above pop protection. Because I'm going to forget um, for next episode. Um, who do I need to do? Inside, like, England, right? Uh, I don't have a diplomat. Awesome. Stop improving with Ravensburg. Come home. Go to England and tell them uh, they stink. All right. Uh, lose military power, lose prestige. Goodbye, prestige. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, why don't you like my video, subscribe to my channel, and as always, if there's anything you want to say, do it down there in that comment section. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you guys next time.